Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this brief Blender video I wanted to show you guys how you can change your theme inside of Blender and also how to install an external theme as well as a good location to find some themes that you can install. So uh, as you can see I already have a custom theme here, uh, more of a dark gray rather than the initial much lighter colors of Blender. And the way that you would change it to a theme like this is you go to File and then User Preferences. And here there's a tab here called Themes. Presets on the left are probably what you're going to want. Uh, obviously you can see that there's a lot of custom colors that go along with the theme and you're more than welcome to customize one for yourself. But using one of these presets is most likely what you want. So you can cycle through them and they immediately apply. So I'm using the graph theme, but there's also hexagon. Uh, Science Lab is pretty cool, it's kind of darker. Uh, Ubuntu Ambience. I actually considered this one even though I'm not currently using Ubuntu, but it's pretty nice. Um, and if you for some reason don't like the ones that come defaulted to Blender, you can just head over to your web browser. And uh, a good source for themes is blendswap.com slash term slash category slash Blender dash themes. And I will of course put that link in the description. Um, but the idea here is just people are providing their own themes that they've come up with. Uh, some of them look pretty decent, like the Blender Energy theme. Other ones, uh, well, honestly, I'm not such a big fan of this green one. It's just too much color on the screen at once. But anyway, uh, if you pick one of those and download it just like any other internet file, you'll have a zip folder. And in that, you're going to want to extract the XML for the theme. Uh, basically, it just contains a huge list of colors for everything inside of the Blender interface. So back over in Blender, uh, Blender and User Preferences, uh, we want to hit the Install Theme button. So I'm going to click that. You locate it on your computer, so if you expand this over here on the left, System Bookmarks uh, should include Desktop by default. Um, you can also add on uh, Downloads or wherever you're putting it. And you just open up that XML file, install the theme, it's going to immediately uh, load up inside of your interface and it's there so that you can change to it in the future or you can save it for now. Uh, if you do want the theme to permanently save so that the next time you load Blender then you're going to want to hit save user settings down here so that the next time you close out of Blender and open it back up like we're doing right here, it's going to keep that theme. Or it should anyway, so let's just give it a second here. And in any case, I've been Chris, so I hope this brief tutorial on themes, or uh, yeah, on themes has helped you guys out. Once again, link in the description if you want to check out that site, blimpswap.com. And I will see you guys in my future video content.